Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today here again at Gen Con for one of our in-flight shorts here on FFG Live. Uh, as you might notice, I'm joined by somebody new today. I am sitting with the head of Game Genic, Adrian Hi. Alonzo, and you haven't met him yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the time over to Adrian here. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit sure. about where you came from and what you're doing here. Why are, why are you here talking to me? Because I love the things that you do. Oh, and I love the things that you do, so hey, mutual. It's a great combination. <laughs> yes. So thank you for having me. Of course, um, of course. Uh, I'm Adrian Alonso, as you just mentioned, I'm the creator and the head of studio of GameGenic. And we created GameGenic four years ago with the goal of enriching GameX experience. And uh, I'm in this business of accessories since uh, almost 15 years now. Okay. And um, uh, we, uh, for me, it's a, a dream come true, right. being able to work on Star Wars, because it is something that I've uh, never thought in my life that I would be able to do that. So in, with this cooperation with you guys, this is, uh, uh, this is again, uh, something very, very special for me. And that's the reason that for this incredible good game, I tried it out a couple of times with my team. And we really, really love this game. We want to enrich the experience and, uh, uh, and emphasize how good this game is by creating stuff that it is even um, that you can use while you're playing. So that's what it's all about with uh, what we're here. And the reason why we're here is that we will be showcasing for the very first time the product. We have announced that we are working on this partnership together with you. Yep. But for the very first time, we will unveil every single product. And I can promise every single product has cool details and cool new innovations. Yep, yep. So this is focusing on Star Wars Unlimited. So yes. Obviously, you guys have a huge suite sure. and assortment of products already, but this is 100% Star Wars Unlimited product. Yeah, absolutely. So, it is tailored for the needs of the game. Yep. Specifically for the needs. It's yep. not, it's not you know, uh, taking a box, a regular box of ours, which we have, and putting a logo on it and telling everyone this is the official product. Right. We don't do that. <laughs> right. We don't do that. We we always strive to find things that matters, details that matters, innovation that matters to the game. Right. So that's what I will present today. All right, cool. Well, let's start with the stuff let's that everybody start. expects. Right? Everybody expects right? playmats. So right. let's start with that. We know what we're going to have. Playmats. <laughs> but I can tell you the playmats that are coming are so cool uh, in terms of design. Let's start with this one. So these are regular standard size playmats. And you can see here uh, the cool graphics and even the the blurred motion and so on in this one. This is the perfect field for all your games and to dive into the action. Right. You know? So we'll have this one. We will have as well. You gotta have the other side, right? You can't of course, have a tie fighter. You got a tie fighter. You, fighter. you need, of course, the X-wing. Of course. You need, of course, the dark, the light side. The light side. So these look uh, very, very good. These uh, playmates are done of natural rubber. Mm -hmm. It is not, uh, um, it is not a, a product that is made out of oil and also the surface, it is, it is a very fine surface so the, uh, the cards will slide out very, uh, slide very easily. Well, let me, let me test that. I'm not going to show the sleeve yet. No, but... no, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Slide. Yep, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I like it. Then my favorite one mm -hmm. is this one. I love this design. And I think many of, uh, of the people out there will love it. Of course, the Darth Vader one, this is, uh, I think this is an astonishing design. Yeah. And um, I, will, I will have this for me uh, uh, personally. Yeah, so on a personal level, I am not a villainy player. Like, I don't play the dark side, but yeah. this is my favorite piece of art from I'm the set. I'm not a dark side guy as well. But, but it's <laughs> so good, yeah. so good. <laughs> and in the end, of course, so, uh, uh, the important uh, part of this, these don't have the specific spots where to put your cards. Right. Because uh, they are always fans of having the dedicated uh, uh, spaces for the cards and others that just want to be told how to put the cards in yep. there. Yep. Uh, so we decided to have three of them without the dedicated space. But one, last one, is uh, this Death Star, which in my opinion looks also very uh, astonishing. Mm -hmm. And on this one, you will have the dedicated space spots for the cards, so you are able to see how it is meant to be played, how it is meant to be put the cards in there. So, and uh, what I don't have here, it is too big, but it's on, the, on all the tables, and I think it was on, also on all the other streamings, are the double side one, right. yep. which is a hyperspace look. Yep. And then also on these, you will have the spots 
the, the dedicated spots for the cards. So the, uh, when you're playing with an open and you know how where to put the cards and so on. Right. So for those that didn't watch the Wednesday night live stream, yeah, that was the map that we used. Yeah. Because it's the perfect map for just like a learning experience, right? Yes, Which absolutely. is why we're using it for the demos this weekend. Yep. Every table has that map. So oh, I need a ground unit. I know where that goes. Yep. This is where my deck goes. This is where my resources go. Like everything is laid out beautifully, and it is. It's really good for a new player learning the game. Yes. For me, it's really good if I have the option to put my ground units on my right side. Yep. Then it's perfect. If sure. I have to put them on the left side, it's I might have you. to fight yet. But, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I, I love these mats. They're really they're really good for me introducing somebody else yes. to the game. Where I just want the Vader one, let's be honest. I right? do want the Vader <laughs> one as well. But one more point about this is that we wanted Regularly, when you have borders where to put the, the cards, we didn't want to have an intrusive design. We didn't want to have really big borders, so it doesn't feel like uh, it, it looks by itself, although it has the dedicated spots, it looks by itself that you can use it as a regular yeah. playmate as well. Yep. Yeah, so, and I like that the words as well are inside. So yes. when you know the game, you can cover them up. It's almost like it doesn't exist. Like your deck covers that all of that design on yep. the exterior. So it's really cool as a reminder, but then it's not intrusive that's, as you're playing the that's game. That's the goal that we had, and it's the same also on the double one. Yep. It is not an intrusive uh, design where you, you don't feel comfortable to, uh, having these spots on there. Right, yep. So uh, we will have, at the beginning, uh, we will be starting with these four playmats, as mentioned, and the double one for two players. Wonderful. So this is the setup for the playmats, but that's not all. Oh, no, no. Of course that's not all. What else do players need? What else do players need? Yeah, come on. I think they need sleeves. Of course. So we are coming with sleeves, and um, maybe you can show it Oops, on camera. Yeah, yeah let's do one of the close ups. <laughs> it's a live here. stream, so it's falling down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is all planned, all live. So uh, okay. um, the interesting part of these sleeves, we have um, rechanged our art sleeves from the ground. This is a new formula. These sleeves are astonishingly clear. Um, uh, the, uh, the, the printing quality is astonishing on them, and they will not split. Usually you have a lamination. Mm -hmm. These are done without any lamination. And also interesting to know is uh, on, maybe you can show it again on camera. Usually on art sleeves you have a border, uh, because this is needed uh, in terms of welding strength and so on. You have a border which is sometimes white, sometimes uh, 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 black. Uh, with our new formula, we don't need any borders. Our, our arts are borderless, and this is the original design of the card back of the, of the game. So you are protecting your, uh, your cards without changing the style of the game. And in terms of shuffling feel, this is so far the best shuffling, shuffling experience. Maybe you want to try it later with yeah. the other ones. So uh, we will have the original card back, and we will have, because it's about uh, uh, light side and, and dark side. Uh, mm -hmm. We thought, okay, the original card bag is blue, but what about having also the lightsaber, a different one, so you are um, enriching the gaming experience having a, a different card uh, bag than it is originally done. So we, have, we are having the red ones as well. And uh, these sleeves are textured as well. So again, these are the very best art sleeves that you can find out there in the market right now. Yeah. So all the issues that some sleeves might have had before, we got rid of all of them. We are we have uh, from the uh, from the beginning redesigned these sleeves with a completely new formula. So we will have the two cutbacks, but I think you have uh, something more. Uh, to show. Yeah, I, I got a couple more. I got a couple more. I, I love that I get to show off your yes. stuff. I think it's pretty no great. No worries. <laughs> so. I'm going to start with this one yeah. because we wanted to use some of the art from the game, yes. especially out the gate when like people are going to have their hands on Luke and Vader. Yeah. These make the most sense, right? They're the most iconic characters in all of Star Wars. These card sleeves pop like no other. Like They're gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I like also the frame of, uh, 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 that it is around the uh, leader. And uh, we have Darth Vader as well. So uh, both of them look very astonishing. Again, the printing quality is the high definition, the colors pop up. It looks like printed paper, right. but it is, it is actual a sleeve. And in terms of, of, in terms of uh, shuffling, you, may, uh, you might uh, oh, want to Oh, I'm gonna shuffle. shuffle. Oh, I'm gonna shuffle. Yeah, so before the stream, you handed me these. Yes. 
and we were talking about how we were going to show them off. I was like, I get to put cards in these, right? Yeah. Because I want to shuffle this. Yeah. And as a like an art sleeve, like you said, they're not that laminated top. Yeah. They don't have that catch exactly. that I'm so used to seeing in an art sleeve. They slide just like butter. Right. That's yep. what we wanted. Yep. And again, they will not peel off because they have no lamination. They have a, sm uh, a little kind of a texture and yep. they are borderless and a high class printing quality. So I'm very proud of these sleeves and I'm very proud to introduce this new formula for Star Wars Unlimited. Yep. Yep, and I'm excited to see it because look, there's no dings in the corner. And how no. many times did I shuffle these before yeah. we even yeah. started? As we were just talking, prepping for the stream, I'm just sitting here, we're just chatting, and I'm shuffling yeah. the whole time. That's so. that's actually what I do when we are <laughs> doing uh, uh, live conversations right. on, on Teams, and then <laughs> yep, you gotta have your hands busy. Yeah. yeah. So no, they're they're spectacular. I love them. But in terms of sleeves, we thought um, uh, art sleeves uh, is great, and these are gorgeous. But we thought we might uh, bring a product that is also interesting for many uh, um, uh, consumers is... Yeah. So somebody was asking for the front of the sleeve. Okay. So I'm gonna show that off too. So can we get a close up of that? Just to show off, I mean, yeah. to, it's extra a white clear. interior, but it's, a, it's yep, It's an clear. extra clear material, um, very sturdy material. They don't scratch easily. So you got the texture on the, on the other side, but it is a uh, extra clear material on the front side. So the colors will not harm at all. You will uh, really notice the colors. Sweet. So, but continuing with what I was just mentioning is we thought we need another product that it, it is not done yet by anyone. At least I've not, never seen that uh, in the market. Is uh, we introduced with Game Genie a double sleeving packs because yep. in TCGs you usually double sleeve, mm -hmm. but not with art sleeves. And so far it's the first time that we are, this is not the final packaging. <laughs> right. <laughs> it would be a lot prettier if it were the final but packaging. But it's the first time that we will have a double sleeving pack uh, as well offering so you will find the sleeves as the regular art sleeves packed uh, uh, in 60 yep. you will have 60 uh, art sleeves and you will have one clear sleeve because for the leader yep. it is double sided you need to have a, a, a clear sleeve inside so the packs are 60 sleeves plus one clear and here we will have the same but we will also have the um, double sleeving experience and this is something completely different that uh, TCGs are used to do. This is done a lot in, 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 uh, in Asia when, uh, when, uh, when Japanese people uh, are double sleeving, they usually don't double sleeve with inner sleeves. Yep. They double sleeve with outer sleeves to protect the art sleeves because they, are, they, they love the art sleeves. I, I just mentioned these art sleeves are very robust. Yeah. Are re very robust, you can shuffle, they will not be harmed, but if you need this extra protection so to be sure that in the future you will have for a very long time these cool art sleeves. We are offering this for the very first time in the market. Again, I've never seen that before. Yep. A double sleeving bag, but not with inner sleeves, with outer sleeves. So you can double sleeve all your cards with outer sleeves, protecting 100% your card from all the four sides, because yep. that's all about with yep. double sleeving. And, but with the outer sleeve instead with the inner sleeve. Yep. And if you go crazy, you can go even triple sleeve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Inner, standard, outer. Great. Exactly. <laughs> so we will, have, we will be starting with four different uh, sleeves, the four that we just uh, uh, showcased. And in the future, with upcoming new things that I'm not able to talk about right, now, right. <laughs> we will be having uh, the corresponding uh, sleeves as well. Yeah. Yeah. So something to point out is everything that we're talking about right now is just for the beginning of the game. And we'll talk Thanks. a little bit more about that later, but this is all stuff that is happening just for the start. We're yes. not done once these are out. No, we're not done. Not of course and we're not done. <laughs> the galaxy of uh, Star Wars is so big. Yes, vast. So, so vast. <laughs> so that's, of course, uh, 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 other products will come in the future as well, and we will part of it as well from the beginning. Right. We have a clo very close relationship, and we wanted to do the things right from the very beginning. Yep. Absolutely. So, let's continue with uh, what kind of cool products we can bring. So we talked about playmats, we talked about sleeves, the, the things that people expect. But um, we thought um, uh, in the game itself you will have a lot of tokens, really cool tokens that you will need for the game. But we also thought having um, premium tokens mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, little details that will showcase a little bit. So this is not the final packaging again, this is all... <laughs> promo stuff that they just arrived from the factory yep. so this is real the first time that we are showcasing this stuff here uh, but for the tokens 
Uh, actually, we we have uh, provided all the tables with the tokens. Yes, you have. And we I, appreciate it. <laughs> and, I, and I've heard just positive reactions yeah. around, around these tokens. So we will have this initiative token as well. You might want to show it. And we will have different tokens that are needed for the game. We'll have the shield token, the plus one, plus one token, the action token, and so on. We will also have this uh, plus one, uh, plus zero token, and, it, and this one goes up, or up uh, uh, to the top. And the negative ones goes downwards. That might be a little bit of a spoiler right there. We haven't really talked Maybe. about anything that's oh. uh, minus one, minus one yet. Oh, so, oh hmm. I'm spoiling things up. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder why that token exists. Huh. So, but, yeah. So, one thing I want to point out is, obviously, we've talked about it. We want players to be able to play the game fully with just what comes in the booster packs. Exactly. And they can do that. Of, of course. They'll obviously need to track damage some way, somehow. This is just the more premium way of yeah. using the things that exist in the game, right? Yeah. It gives you the extra reminder tokens. It gives you the damage that you need, shield the token. shields. So if you don't want to use those physical paper token cards, you have access to something yeah. more special and unique. And it was what I uh, said at the very beginning, it is about enriching the gaming experience. So exactly. you don't need it because uh, for playing the game, you have actually uh, the, the things that comes with it, but the experience, it's all about experience. Right. And it's all about details. Right. And the details go so far because you see here on this one, maybe you can see on this camera, it, it is a five. And um, it's all about Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Details matters, and Star Wars has a known language, which is which is Orobash. And if you take a look on these signs here, this says five in Orobash. If you took a look on the shield token, this says shield in Orobash. Yep. So that's all about details and all about experience that I was just mentioning, because you want to dive into the galaxy of Star Wars. Exactly, and it is all about that experience. Exactly. You I might not need it, but I really want it. <laughs> so I'm going to have it, right? And that it it's just it adds, it makes your table space look more exciting. It's just it's super cool like you mentioned that the players here have been going nuts about them. Yeah. They're gorgeous. To the point where if you're watching, a couple of these have disappeared off of the table. Really? So knock that off. But <laughs> <off. laughs> But yes. So I can imagine. They're pretty enough that they're walking away somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you just mentioned, uh, you better have them than need them. Right, right, exactly, <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's w uh, what it's all about. So we talked about playmats, we talked about tokens, but we are in a TCG world. Mm -hmm. We talked about uh, sleeves as well. Yep. We're in TCG world. What do you need for a, t for a TCG world? Well, so I put my cards in my sleeves. Yes. And I have my tokens. Yeah. And then I just throw them in a backpack loosely exactly. and bring them to my that's, event. That's no. a perfect experience. That's, <laughs> right. that's how you, you, you should do that. <laughs> right. I will not be doing that. I love this game. I'm not going to treat it that way. So we need a, pot, a spot to put all of the stuff we've talked about, other than yeah. our playmat. So what is obvious? Deck boxes. Of course. And for deck boxes, I will start with this one. If you take a look on this deck box, you might think, you might think yeah, from the outside is a regular deck box. I've seen plenty of these deck boxes, all over printed uh, deck boxes. Right. But I mentioned from the very beginning, we are improving every single product. This is a product that is tailored for the needs of the game. Yep. And we wanted to add something that it was not done yet in deck boxes, especially in entry level deck boxes. You find this kind of functionality on some premium deck boxes, but not in entry level deck boxes. And I will show what I mean by that. So first of all, they look gorgeous. Maybe you want to uh, show yeah. them on, on yep. camera from all sides, so they, they have a really great all over print design. So also here you, you dive into the experience and the best part of it is, again, from the outside it looks like a regular deck box, but it is not. The game needs right now around 60 cards for, for playing the game. So this will fit 60 cards even if it's double, double sleeve, but we talk about tokens. 
Mm -hmm. So this box is the very first uh, box in this world which has inside a token box included. And this token box, usually I've seen token box, I've seen drawers before uh, in similar products. The problem with drawers is if they are upright. So if you take the things out, everything will fall down. Mm -hmm. We thought about a, a, a new idea how to do that. So it's a box in a box. Yeah, you know, people love yeah, to have box yeah, in box, boxes. You put boxes in boxes and then you ship those boxes in other boxes. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this, this one has a purpose. So you're taking it out and nothing will fall out. And so you have enough space here for your 60 double sleeve cards, um, even if they are out with outer sleeves. Yep, yep. And you have this specific, specific uh, box inside where I will show you, this is a revolution. This is something that we came up as an idea. A similar product doesn't exist in the market uh, right now. We, uh, we uh, had, it was very difficult. Uh, le let me say it the other way. Having a box with, th this is a very flexible material. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Having a box with a lid that stays closed on a flexible material is very difficult. Right, because, because changing a drawer to a box where the box just opens up all the time and things still spill out does not help anyone. Ex exactly, because usually on boxes, this will pop open every time. If you put things inside, it will fall out. So we came up with another idea. It doesn't fall out with this one. So I will put some tokens here. Get ready for the volume. So you see the tokens here. And we have a specific and special uh, locking mechanism. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it because just by the sound, it is so satisfying sound. You know that oh, this I one, I that this one, are protected and secure. This click, this click here, and now I'm not cheating. I can shake like crazy. <laughs> we'll stop because we know it's loud. <laughs> I can shake like crazy, and you have seen it will not pop open. Yep. But uh, so it should be very difficult to pop open, but it should be easy if you open the box. Right. Yep. So if you put your thumb here and you just press it in the middle, then it just pops out. Do it again. Yep. So we'll get that. And then, sorry, I'm not using my thumb. Just a little press on that plastic in the right spot. Exactly. So yeah, if you're holding it literally anywhere else or even there yeah. without trying to push in on it, it's not going to pop. And there's more than that, because uh, the idea was that you can use it while you're playing. It would be awkward if the lid will al 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 always fall down, so you need to take everything out. It's not with this one. If you do the flap like that, it will stay open. So you can usually take the things in and out while you're yep. playing. Yep. And uh, really, with one, with one single uh, entry-level deck box, you've got two boxes. One for your cards, one for your tokens. This is a product like that was never done before. And plus, you have these very cool designs all mm -hmm. around that. Yeah. So, again, uh, I will take the tokens yeah, we'll out. we need those tokens later. Put it again here. So we will have uh, different designs of, of uh, with this all over print design, same, same as we did with uh, the Playmats. Yep. But we will have also, um, in my opinion, very symbolic designs with no all over print because we will have just monocolored ones like this one but like this one but this one reminds me so of a stormtrooper because it's white on the outside and it's black on the inside so if this is not a stormtrooper look i don't know what we're doing right <laughs> Yep. And then same thing, these are all the same with the yep. box on the inside that also matches yep. the black and white theme and that aspect of it. Again, these are very affordable uh, products and uh, with all this functionality, there's no single box out there that can do that. And it's what I meant at the very beginning. We're not just putting a logo on a box and uh, telling everyone this is the for Star Wars. Right. We thought of things that are well tailored for the game. Yep. At least we tried. I think we oh. succeeded. Oh, you succeeded. Maybe. Don't worry about it. You got this. <laughs> um, we will also have the black one, and also this is uh, with white inside. So you will have a very cool feeling. You dive into the galaxy of all these games. 
Satisfying. <laughs> Satisfying. <huh>? Satisfying. <laughs> so, we talked so far about playmats, sleeves, tokens, and two level boxes. Yep. What is missing? Oh, I mean, it's Game Genic. Yeah. So, everybody who knows Game Genic knows premium deck boxes are coming. So, let's just do it. <laughs> Exactly, we are, we are recognized as a premium brand, and for, but for me, premium doesn't mean expensive. Right. These are the most these are entry level products, the ones that we just showed. Right. And these are the most premium boxes I've ever seen. So we are premium brand, but of course we are also we have a reputation of also premium boxes. So we have here a premium box that first of all we change the material on this one. Usually we have a material which is called Nexofire, which is yep, uh, that's smoother. Yeah, it feels yeah. like uh, like Felt, Felt, almost, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. But with Felt for Star Wars, we need to have something different, and uh, we call this material um, Hexafiber. This is uh, I don't think it's visible in the camera, but this is full of of hexes, and uh, it is a very very sturdy material, mm -hmm. even uh, if. Um, uh, they got dirt, dirty, you can wash them out and so on. And talking about details, also the shape, it is a very typical shape of Star Wars that you find, so no rounded edges and yeah. so on. This is usually, you don't find rounded edges there. And uh, so you got here, first of all, a very cool box, but I mentioned we're doing something different. We're doing something for the needs of the game. Yep. And also here, we are bringing, and I'm so proud to doing that for Star Wars, we are bringing a very revolutionary idea that was not done before. Because this box, it's black and it's cool, but on the other side, you got the leader visible. This box comes with a, what we call, is a product of ours, a slide card case. So you can, it has a UV protection in this case. It is included with the box. The card is not included, of course. Yeah, 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 you don't get the card with the box. <laughs> But uh, uh, you have here, uh, for the very first time, also UV, UV protection. So it's protecting, so it's protecting the, the card. Yeah, and it is, the purpose of this is, if you put it on the shelves, you can see at a glance, this is the deck that I want to take with me on the gaming night. Yep. Um, because with the leader, I can recognize it uh, right away. So it is the first time that without the need of opening the box, you see what's inside. And that's not all. Mm -hmm. It's it's never all with you. <laughs> there is no that's all with Adrian. <laughs> that's just not how this works. <laughs> because we have this convertible system here, of course, and with this convertible system, we we care we care a lot about uh, space on the gaming table. If you have a flap like existing other products that are, that are like that, you are wasting space. You could not you cannot use the box while you are playing. Right. Because you are wasting, you, can, you either use the box, uh, you take the stuff out, and then you close it, but you're, and you're put not... put it back in your backpack. Backpack, yep. but you're not using while you're playing. And all of our products are designed that you can use them while you're playing. Yep. So with our convertible system, the flap, the lid goes off, and you might say, yeah, that's a great idea, Adrian, but I will lose that. I won't lose it. <laughs> no? That's not how that works? No. Okay, I try. The thing is, you put it on the bottom, and you, uh, you, you stick it like that. There are magnets on both sides. So now you have the, you have, uh, the possibility of using the box even open or close, you are wasting, the, and it's not wasting anymore. You're right. using the same space yep. on your gaming table as it was closed. But I mentioned this at all. This card actually is needed for the game. Yep. It's not only to showcase, you need your leader while you're playing. Right, it's hard to play without them. Yeah. Of course. So you just can slide this out. And sliding this out, it is already protected. It is already protected. And of course, you don't, for this one, you don't need any sleeve because it, it is, you can use it while you're playing. Yep. And since it's clear, 100% clear, again, you can just turn it because this is needed while you're playing. Yep. And putting the card in and out. Um, again, this is a product, if uh, this gets lost or broke or whatever, uh, you don't need to worry about because uh, this is a product that we have in our regular line. Yeah. So this is included in this box, but in some case, if it, it gets broken, you can you can uh, buy uh, uh, replace them with other uh, yeah. our products. This is called a slide card case. So in uh, similar products in the market, usually, if you open it and you you might they might open by themselves. Here, with this sliding mechanism, 
this doesn't fall off anymore. So you put you slide your car in there, you slide and it clicks and you're good to go. And this will not fall off. And then when you're, when you're done with the game, you put it back and you see this is the car that I have and, and, and that I want this is the deck that I want to use with me and put it on my shelf and be proud of this deck, presenting the, the, the very cool car that I have mm -hmm. and so on. So this is what we have uh, here as novelty, but that's not all. No, I know, <laughs> I know, I told him. I already told you, there's no that's all. <laughs> because there are two specific cards needed for this game. You got the leader card, but you also have the base card. Yep. So for these two specific cards, we thought we need to have dedicated space for these cards. So there's here an additional flap that opens like that. And here, that's where you put, that's where you put your, your base. And this is done that it easily slides out. So it also fits if it's sleeved, by the way. So you can, once you're done, you, you put it back, but you take it up when it's in for the game and you put it on your table, table but you have a dedicated space. So you know what base uh, I need and uh, I have on my deck and what uh, lead I have. Then the 60 double sleeve cards fit in there even if they are uh, triple, even if they are double sleeve with outer sleeves. Yep. You can triple sleeve them as well, but then the capacity changes. And you have a groove here because we hate taking the cards in and out this way. Right. <laughs> so you have an extra groove so you can take down to the last card the full deck in and out. So I can take, put cards in there, for example. And then you down to the last card. You just take grab them. If this is full with a, it's not a full deck, of course. Right. Uh, then you take them easily in and out uh, of the box. And but that's not all. That's not all. <laughs> <laughs> last but not least, we have also here an uh, integrated uh, drawer with which again you it will not uh, fall down because you have this extra flap yep. here, where you put all your accessories. Either they are the premium tokens or the original tokens of the game. You can put them here and they will not fall out. And the size of these are made that all of these tokens will fit. By the way, we forgot to mention that the tokens will be in total, a pack of these tokens will be in total oh, yeah. 55 tokens in one pack. So all the tokens you need for a, for a game. And you close it, you put your deck, you clip it, clip it back and you're good to go. And we will have, of course, you have different aspects of yep, the game yep. with uh, the different colors with these aspects. So this is the black one, of course, with the, with the villainy. Villainy. We will have, of course, this aspect with look, look, look how cool this looks if you have them on the shelf like that. Yeah, you're I'm not going to forget which one is which <laughs> when you got a card sitting on the outside of it, that's for sure. Yeah. So you will have a very cool uh, blue one. We will have as well a yellow one, this is how the box looks when it arrives to you. So, of course, without any card, but the slide card case will be included. You will have the yellow one, you will have the red aspect, and you will have green, all, white, green, white and so on. Every single aspect covered, all six. Exactly. So, even, even on the white one, this is one of my favorites, because talking about Stormtrooper look, mm -hmm. this is white on the, out, uh, on the outside but it is black on the inside. And look how cool it looks with this uh, silver logo. And yeah. also with all the functionality here. So you got here a 100%, you dive 100% into the, this theme. That's, that's what we wanted to do from the very beginning. Yeah, and I, I will say, you know, back in, when was that? Was that March when I got to come out and visit you guys? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. beginning so of this year. Yep, yeah. got to go out to Germany to visit and I have, been rubbing it in the devs' faces. Those of, that have been watching the unlimited live streams have already heard this, but I got to see all of these in person, and none of our devs had, and it just felt so good telling them how great these were, and them just being jealous that they didn't get to have them in there. Grubby little hands like me. <laughs> yeah, we've been working together very closely since yes. I think two years on that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Since honestly. Since we got to the point where we knew what was really coming with the game, because yes. obviously there's a lot of design work and development Changes. early on, but once we knew that there were separate leaders, yep. you started working on this. Once we knew that we were going to need specific tokens, you started working on that. When, once, once you had art for sleeves, you started working on those. Once like, I knew also a uh, basis needed, I started yep, to, to yep. develop an idea around that and so on. So again, yep. it is not uh, um, over-featuring our product. It's, 
putting features that make sense, that right. adds value to the game. Yep. That's, wh that's why I'm so grateful about this cooperation with the two yeah, of us. For sure. So, there is a that's not all though. That's There's not another all. that's not all. That's because not Because this is not a one player game. No. How many people do we need to play this? At least? At least two. At least two? Yeah. So, so what we do we got? <laughs> we thought of a multiplayer box. And the multiplayer box looks like that. So also here, this one comes with two slide card cases included, of course. Uh, and also here, with these two spots, look how gorgeous this, this looks. Uh, you will be uh, seeing both uh, leaders or the decks that you have inside uh, um, at glance. And they're per perfectly protected. But a multiplayer box has been done before, so I've just introduced all the features that we have around that. Mm -hmm. But how can we even improve this multiplayer play experience? I think we did it, because this is the first one as well, that you put in the middle of the table, like that, and you're good to go, because you are, our products are meant to be used while you're playing. So each side is facing the player. So this side is facing to you, and the other side is yep. facing your opponent. So if we were playing this game right now, you could put in an, uh, you could put the would, box open I, I want in the middle to be able to see it. But this is how we would play. Yeah. You and me sitting this, like this. Sitting like that. You put I it on the middle the of the table. Yeah, exactly. I've got my leader. You got your cards. You take your and cards my out. My cards are you right got here. Draw I can even here draw with the tokens. from here. You can draw from here, right? Yeah. That's the purpose. Literally, I mentioned. everything comes out of the box. Exactly. You can use our, our products while you're playing. Yep. You, you don't need to do that, but you can. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to as well. <laughs> <laughs> so this has all the features that we just mentioned, but um, but together, combined together for a two-player game. And as mentioned, you put it in the middle, you're ready to go. Yep. You're ready to go, you're ready to play, and so on. And we will have them also in different colors, uh -huh. all, all the all aspects. All the aspects. Look how cool the green one looks. I'm very, I'm a fan of the, of the, of the Green's green Green's my one. personal favorite color, and that just pops. Yeah. So I love it. Love also it. the material, what do you think about the material? Oh, I mean, you know I love it. Yeah. I told you that months yeah, ago. You, know, you need to tell them. <laughs> That's true. It is incredible. Like, <laughs> the texture behind it, I don't know. It's it's different than any other deck box I've ever yeah. used. So, It's green. a very sturdy material. Green. We haven't showed the final color. Oh, look at this one, the red one. But one thing I'm going to show, because we have these out, yeah. and one thing that I'm going to do with this game, probably with the, the single box, though, yeah. but I'm going to use these since they're out here and I have access to them. If I have my villainy, so let's just say it's my Vader deck. Yeah. You know, the Vader deck that we're using for the demos. Yeah. Vader's got the red aspect. Yeah. He's got the black aspect. And he's got himself a green base. So at this point, yeah, this I create way. my box. You just put that the, has you can mix yep, and match. That has all three of the aspect colors for my deck. So you can not only by the leaders recognize which deck is inside, but also uh, that, that's the basic idea, of course, of this convertible mm -hmm. uh, idea that we have. You can mix and match colors. This is unprecedented with uh, premium boxes. You can usually not mix and match colors with right. your premium box. Right. Other you take scissors and you cut off the flat. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So huge waste of money. But yeah, with this, I mean, just on the outside. I know I've got my Vader, yeah. which is red black. I've got the black box, of course. Yeah. I've got my green lid. That yeah. means that I've got my green base in there. Yeah. Like, it's and just, then you open it, and then and you there's got my red drawer. It's it's beautiful. I hate you for it, but I love you for it <laughs> because now I know I need at least one of each color <laughs> so that I can actually build my decks into my deck boxes properly. But it's good to hear because this is the purpose of it. We done that to enrich the experience, you know. Right. right. Uh, we. I really care about Star Wars. You really care about Star oh, Wars. Of course. And. Um, for me, it was, uh, it was clear that if we design together something, it will be the combination of our best innovations uh, that we uh, are bringing together. So, important to mention as well, this is releasing together with yes, the game. Yes, that is the most important part. Yeah. The day this game is available. Yes, you will find all the products, all the products that we showcase now, will be on stores at the same time. Yep. So again, it's an enriching experience, and that's the reason you need to have the products together. Right, exactly. And then I don't even have one day of just throwing my cards into my backpack. Yeah. I put them in a deck box first. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's perfect. It's perfect.
Yeah, yeah, I, I really, I, I mean, this is not as much for them, this is for you. I have really, truly appreciated, like, what we've been able to do together. Yeah, and have, we're just gonna continue here. to grow, and you're gonna grow alongside with us. This is all just gonna be a big old party for us. Same here, so I'm, I'm pretty excited, I meaning like I say it, I'm pretty excited about this collaboration. It was a great um, relationship and it, mm -hmm. it is awesome to work with you guys. You're Same. awesome. Same. And, um, and Star Wars is, again, my dream come true. So I'm very happy to be able to bring the incredible new innovations with Star Wars and with you guys. Yeah. All right. So that's all for now, but in the future... <laughs> for now. <laughs> In the future, maybe other plans will uh, will arise. Right, because I mean, I think we need to end the stream by saying this isn't all. This is not. <laughs> there will be more. So, Adrian, thank you so much for being here. This was a pleasure. I know I've already gotten to see the stuff, but it's nice being able to actually show yep. the world and not have to be quiet about this, like yeah. I was about this game for so long. Yeah, I'm so happy to finally have <laughs> been able to talk about this right. as right. well. Exactly. All right, perfect. Well, thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you for being here. Without you we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. So we appreciate you and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.